Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I am part of DVCOM support and training team. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to block ICMP and how to allow DNS, HTTP and HTTPS traffic in Sign for Firewall. So if you are following my previous videos, I have shown to you how to configure the zones. After that, I have shown to you how to assign the interfaces to the specific zone. Then after that, I have shown to you how to configure the DHCP, NAT and policies. So now I am trying to block the ICMP traffic. Then after that, I am going to allow only DNS, HTTP and HTTPS traffic. So let's go and have a look. So before we jump into the configuration, let's go and see my lab topology. So in my lab topology, we have a NSF 1050 AI, which is the SANG for firewall. And in my previous videos, I have configured my WAN zone and I have assigned the IP address as 192.168.254.15, which is last 24. And for my LAN zone, I have configured as 192.168.254. 100.1 and I have enabled the DHCP so through the DHCP I got the IP address as 100.51 okay so now what I'm trying to do now let's go and uh, open the command prompt so I think uh, just to open the CMD and this is my command prompt and try to ping any of the public DNS server. So type ping 4.2.2 say I ping. So right now you guys can see here, I can able to ping 4.2.2 because I am getting internet access. But I don't want to allow ICMP traffic because usually ICMP is nothing but it does the echo request and echo reply. But I don't want to do any kind of ping because my people who are sitting in my LAN, I don't want to allow them to do the ICMP okay so for that what you need to do you need to access your firewall first let's go and access it open the browser and that's your firewall and login with your username admin and the password then click on login so you need to go to the policies so as I told you guys to access the internet especially the policies are going to play an important role so without policy, you cannot send your traffic to internet. So right now you guys can see here there is a policy. So this policy, what is doing, it's allowing by default every traffic. So actually I didn't put any restrictions on the services, but right now what I'm trying to do now, I am not going to disturb this policy. I'm going to create one more policy. And in that policy, I'm going to block the ICMP traffic. So click on the add. Then after that, I can say that block ICMP now you need to enable this I don't want to write any description and I want to keep above on my LAN to internet application policy now the source zone is it's my LAN then click on save then what's your network object which is my LAN subnet then click on OK then after that the destination zone which is my van then click on save then what's your network object it's all traffic means I can able to ping any of the IP address in the world. So the service, what I'm trying to do guys, ICMP. So just type ICMP here. You can see here ICMP. Then after that, you can click on save. Now you need to go down and you can see here the deny. So I need to select the deny guys. So before I'm going to deny this, see the traffic is there. I can able to ping. Now click on save. Now you guys can see here, this is going to deny the traffic and open this and you can see it's dropped. How quick is sang for guys? Really, really, really excellent. And you guys can see here, immediately it's going to block the ICMP traffic. But still I can able to get the internet access. How? Just go here and type for example www.ailing.com. So I can able to access the e-link website www.sangfor.com I can able to access the Sangfor website as well. So you guys can see here, but I cannot able to ping because I just blocked the ICMP traffic. 
so in case if you want to see just go here and click on the view sessions and you guys can see here block icmp see here the policy is saying that block icmp if anybody trying to ping then immediately it's going to show it to you block icmp policy is going to block your icmp traffic this is what is going to you guys can see here in case if you want to see the NAT sessions just go to the monitor in the monitor you can go to the sessions and click on the session list then you can able to see it so just filter it here i want to see the icmp traffic so you can go to the protocol and i want to select icmp then click on save now you guys can see here block icmp policy is going to deny the icmp traffic that's the beauty of this see the action is denied and it's going to block the icmp traffic so who is trying the pc which is trying 100.51 is trying to ping 4.2.2 then icmp traffic is going to block so that's the beauty of it guys so move back to the policies again so this time what i want to do now I want to allow only HTTP, HTTPS and DNS because usually to access the internet these three protocols are very important. So I want to allow only these three protocols. So right now what I am trying to do now, you can see in my second policy, LAN2 internet policy, I just go and do the edit and you can see here by default all the services are allowed. So here what I am trying to do now, I can type HTTP. Now you guys can see here HTTP, HTTPS and I want to allow the DNS. Then type the DNS. DNS T is nothing but it's a DNS TCP. DNS U is nothing but DNS UDP. That's it. Then click on save. Then after that I am trying to allow only these services I am going to allow. Then click on the save. So these are the browsing services guys. And you guys can go and see now just say go to the A-Link website say refresh see it's working fine go to the Sangfor website it's working fine and now you just try to access the a store website www.astore.com now you guys can see here i'm not finding any challenges because it's working fine because to access to browse your websites you require dns http and https now if you refresh this and you can able to see the hit count right so in case if you want to see the NAT sessions, just click on here and click on the view sessions and you guys can see the sessions here. Okay. And this is the one policy which is allowing the traffic. So you just go and see, check it here. And in case if you want to see the NAT sessions, go to the monitor and click on the sessions and session list. You can get the complete information about it and which traffic is blocking which traffic is allowing all the information you can able to see it guys that's the beauty of your sign for firewall so move back to your policies and this is what how you are going to and also you can see here there is a clone so the clone is nothing but you can just copy and paste it and also you guys can see here for example if i want to move this policy to top just you can say move either up or down or top you can able to choose it according to your requirement so this is the beauty of your sign for firewall this is what how you are going to control your services through the policies so it's a purely guys how you want to configure it according to your requirements you can do it so that's the beauty of your sign for firewall and it's very easy and straightforward and to sign out just click on admin and click on logout and again as i mentioned to you earlier guys let's close this as i mentioned earlier the Jitex is going to happen in Dubai and it will be on October 14 to 18 and during this period we are going to showcase complete Sangfor products. So in case if you want to explore more about Sangfor, please visit our booth and we are there at the Jitex. And for the sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com. For support, please send us an email support at datawise.com. I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing.